Nice work if you can get it. Um, I would say it's a, a really like classic screwball musical comedy. There's tons of stock characters that get themselves into trouble and have... And fall in love. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, Jimmy gets himself into a lot of trouble. I mean, but she is. She's completely different from any other girl that he has had a relationship with. I think he likes it. She kicks him around a little bit. I think so, too. Think she takes the reins a little bit. Yeah. I think that's a common denominator in all the women in this show is they kind of... Stick. Yeah, right? Because yeah. um, Billy is very tough. She's very tough, and she truly believes that love is not for her. But yet, when she sings Someone to Watch Over Me, you get this sense that maybe somewhere there's something else that she really wants from life that's more than just bootlegging and being tough and having this hard shell. So I think when she meets somebody who is so full of carefree, you know, joy and life and, and is so opposite to her, he sort of brings out this side of her that's a lot of fun. I don't know, there are the classic ones that you have heard over and over again, that I heard as a child growing up, like, let's call the whole thing off. Someone to watch over me. Someone to watch over me. But then there are some hidden gems in this show mm -hmm. that a lot of the older generations haven't really heard either. I take home. Literally, what secretly, I literally take steal from the, from the theater. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> most silk pajamas that I wear. Yeah, <laughs> Why not? Those are really cute. I love my hair in the show. <laughs> That our wigs are beautiful, our wig lady, like, because the women of this time actually wore their hair like this. Like, mm -hmm. they literally put this much effort like. into looking like that every day. <laughs> Prohibition. Yeah, I mean, I would probably resort to, to my Billy ways, to be honest with you. <laughs>